In this problem, we have a right triangle and we know information about some sides and an angle. They already give us how they're related. Normally, I would write the relationship as tangent theta equals uh, opposite. So here's the theta angle opposite is x over adjacent is 2000. You do want to be careful in these problems about what's changing and what's not. And if you read the problem here, the 2000 foot distance, there's a camera right here and the rocket takes off and goes straight up. And therefore the distance between the camera and the launch of the rocket doesn't change. It's constant. And that's why we use the number instead of a variable. Now the rocket's moving which means the height is changing and also the angle here is changing. And that's why we have variables for those two. If you, they do tell us 35, 44 feet uh, is the, when the camera and the rocket are 3,544 feet apart, you want to be careful because that's not the X measurement. That's the distance between the camera and the rocket, which is also changing. Uh, so we could call it hypotenuse and just remember that number is changing. So that'll come back later. So let's go ahead and we'll just do the, uh, equation that's written here. And the only difference is they just took tangent inverse and moved the tangent function to the other side. No big deal. You could differentiate right here if you wanted to. All right. We are supposed to find theta prime. So when you obviously take a derivative, every question at this, in this point in calculus involves taking a derivative, theta prime, the other variable besides theta is x. So theta prime, you can write as d theta over dx because x is the other variable. So we need to differentiate the equation with respect to x. So we're going to take d dx of tan inverse, oops. I already messed up. Theta equals tan inverse of x over 2000. Okay, so this derivative left side is theta prime. Uh, right side, it, and it, this is theta, not x, so the derivative is not 1, the derivative is theta prime. Now the right side derivative of tangent inverse, hopefully you remember that. D dx, if you just had tangent inverse x, it's one over one plus x squared. So for us, it's one over one plus the inside squared. That whole thing gets squared. Chain rule now, we just took care of the tangent inverse, so we take the derivative of x over 2000. Derivative of x is 1. So it's 1 over 2,000. If that's tricky to see, normally I would write uh, x over 2,000 as 1 2,000th times x. And when it's written like this and you take a derivative, you can see this is the constant. And derivative of x is 1. And that's why the derivative would be 1 over 2,000. And that's why the x disappears. Okay. We are ready to start plugging in values. So what is the value for x? Unfortunately, the number they give us is not x. The number they give us is the hypotenuse, as I mentioned earlier. So how do we solve for x? We use Pythagorean theorem because we know the, op the other sides. We know hypotenuse and we know one of the sides so we can find the other side. So we're going to relate these with the Pythagorean theorem. x squared plus 2000 squared is 3544 squared. And we need, we need to know what x is. Now if you look down here, I'm going to just rewrite this. Let's see. Let's write it as, I'll put the constant in front, 1 over 2,000 in front, 1 over 1, and these are multiplied, 1 over 1 plus, now x gets squared and the 2,000 gets squared. 
So we can actually, we actually just need to know x squared. We don't need to solve all the way for x. So back up to the top, we have Pythagorean theorem here. I'm going to solve for x squared, subtract 2000 squared. Uh, you cannot, we are subtracting these two numbers, so you can't, you cannot write this as 3544 minus 2000 squared. If they were multiplied, you could do that, but not if they're added or subtracted. So do not make this mistake. That's called freshman's dream. A plus B to the C power is not equal to A to the C plus B to the C. So don't make that mistake here. Let me erase all this wrong stuff. All right, so that's x squared. So let's go ahead and plug that value in. That was 35, 44 squared minus 2,000 squared divided by 2,000 squared. These are, again, multiplied, and this is theta prime. Okay, so this should be the answer here. You could plug this in, but it does say around to five decimal places, so they are probably expecting a decimal. So I'm not going to type this into a calculator. You can do that. And just be careful. Uh, I recommend using the Desmos scientific calculator because when you type it in, it will look the way it's written here. You could spend some time reducing this a little bit, but it's not going to reduce that much. And I would be worried that if I tried to reduce it, I might make an algebra mistake. So it's probably better to just type it in, in this form, let the calculator compute the decimal. Uh, if you're working on your actual midterm or final exam, this is the answer form that I would be looking for, because we don't use calculators.